Hi, this is a short tutorial video to help you get set up as a boater on SlipFinder. The first step, you're going to select Boater. After that, you're going to enter your contact information. There's a box that says my billing address is my home address. You can select that, but don't worry, you won't have to enter a credit card until the very end, right before you book your first slip. Now you've completed the process. Next, you're going to add a boat. You're going to add your boat name. The registration is optional. Home port, that's where you keep your boat. What type of boat? Is it a power boat or a sailboat? And then you can upload a photo of your boat. Next, you're going to select the manufacturer of your boat. There's a list of manufacturers. If your particular boat's not listed, then you can select the link that says can't find your boat and manually type it in. But in this case, the boat that I'm typing in is a Grady White. I'm going to select that. I'm going to select the year of my boat. And then after that, I'm going to select the proper model. There's a link that says change dimensions. You can click on that and, and override your length. If you have a customized swim platform or modified your boat that changes the dimensions, you can do that at that point. Uh, you're also going to enter in your draft. And then you're going to select what type of electric hookup if you have electric on your boat. 30 amp, 50 amp, 100 amp. So now you've added a boat. You can select to use this boat or you can edit this boat profile at any point or you can add a new boat. So for those of you that have more than one boat, you can add multiple boats. When you're looking for a slip for your large boat and can't find anything available, you could always select a smaller boat and see if there's any slips available for that vessel. So this is gonna be the boater's main navigation screen. There's four buttons, finder, map, boats, and my slips. And I'm gonna talk through which each one of these does. The finder allows you to search by marina name or by town name. When you find a marina using the finder search function, you're only going to find marinas that have slips available that fit your boat. You can look at the photos of the marina. You can read a nice description. There's a image on the map that shows where they're located. You can look at the amenities that they have to offer as well. And then you can see what slips are available. Some marinas will actually put a photo of the slip so you can see where it is and how it's oriented in the marina. And then in the pricing calculator, you can add different days to see how long it's available and it'll calculate your cost. The map function allows you to scroll around the map and look for available marinas. The red dots indicate a marina that's signed on with SlipFinder, but maybe they don't have a slip available for your size boat or have a slip that's listed right now. The green dots indicate marinas that have slips available for your boat instantly. So when selecting on a green dot, again, you could look at the photos, you could look at the amenities, and down below, you can see slips that are available to book instantly. So here, using the finder, I typed in Fort Lauderdale and came up with Cable Marine West. So as I go through here, I can see the slips available, and they're all green on the left-hand side. That means their electric fits the electric needs of my boat. The hookup costs $6. That's the electric. So if you didn't want to hook up to the electric, you can deselect that. If you see slips, but the color is not green, it's amber next to it, that means the slip's available for your boat, but it might have a different electrical connection, which may not be an issue if you keep adapters on your boat. As I mentioned before, you don't have to enter your credit card until the very end before you book the slip. Once you book a slip, you'll get an email, and you're also going to get a text message confirming your slip booking. The dockmaster is also going to get an email and a text message letting him know that you just booked that slip. So back to the main menu. We talked about Finder. We talked about Map. If you click Boats, that's going to take you back where you can manage your boats. You can add a boat, edit the boat, so forth. My Slips is where you can look at your slip history. You can look up your prior purchases.
If your favorite Marine is not on SlipFinder, tell them about us. Tell them to get with today's technology. SlipFinder is about making it easier for boaters to book slips and moorings from the touch of a mobile device. We want to promote more active boating and let boaters explore new places. If you have any questions, contact us at info at slipfinder.com or check out our website at www.slipfinder.com. Thank you.